Hey everybody and welcome back to the channel, HGM here with an Elder Scrolls Online news update. Over the past few days we've had a lot of new information coming out about ESO's new Greymore chapter, as well as updates on the PTS server and recent combat changes, so let's get you all up to date. First let's talk about the light and heavy attack changes which are being tested right now on the PTS. There were a lot of changes involved with that, basically light attacks being nerfed quite a bit but restoring resources, heavy attacks now doing more damage but restoring zero resources. Well those changes are officially off the table, at least for now. And I think this is great news for everyone because like I said in my previous video about these, I think some of the changes were decent but a lot of them were not that great. And this would have been extremely challenging for the team to balance and make work in a reasonable amount of time. Here's the statement from Brian Wheeler, which was released on the PTS forum yesterday. Thank you all for hopping on the PTS and trying out the changes to light, medium, and heavy attacks. This off-cycle PTS test was designed to give you all a chance to test some experimental changes and let your voice be heard earlier in the development process. This was a new thing for both the team and the community, and overall we think it was very successful. We got a ton of great feedback on the forums and in-game. Then he goes on to say it was great to see all the videos, forum posts, and feedback about the various methods of engaging with the core combat mechanics. They also gathered lots of information tied to mechanics classes, progression, and play patterns. And then he says, now that we've had a chance to collect and read over all the feedback, we've decided that these changes will not be included in the Greymore chapter update 26. We will continue to investigate ways to improve on light and heavy attacks to ensure they provide impactful moments where it's important choice to pick and choose your attacks. Thank you again to all those who participated. Your feedback has been invaluable and we learned a lot. So I think this is a good move on the part of the ESO developers. I mean, any change of this nature is just so much bigger than what it appears to be on paper. And this would have affected so many balance issues in the game, from classes to skills to item sets, both PvE and PvP. So yes, great job delaying this, I think. Also, I'm pretty glad that this did not take place during the actual Greymore PTS cycle, which I think if it did would have upset a lot of players and really detracted from the value of that chapter content and the expansion. I actually like this new concept of the pre-PTS or the off-cycle PTS testing, whatever you call it. Uh, because it allows the team to focus on just these specific issues and get really solid and in-depth feedback from us as players. So I'm hoping that maybe after the Greymore release, maybe they'll do more of these. Maybe focus on some important things like better unique class identity. That would be amazing. Moving right along, let's talk about the Greymore chapter and the upcoming Greymore PTS. A lot of us have been speculating about when the PTS notes for Greymore will be released. We thought maybe as early as this Monday we might have seen those patch notes. If not this week, maybe next week. But we got our answer for sure uh, yesterday. Confirmation from Matt was posted on the official Bethesda site and according to him, the PC and console versions of Greymore will ship about a week later than scheduled. So if that delay remains true, that would move the PC release date back to May 25th and the console release date back to June 9th. So all in all, if that delay holds, I think that is pretty amazing. You know, honestly, it's a testament to how hard the ESO team works and has continued to work during this very complicated time in the world. I mean, many games have seen delays of over a month on their release date, some even more than that. So I think we should consider ourselves lucky at this point if the team is able to pull together still and get this expansion out pretty much right on time. So great job guys, we definitely appreciate you if you're watching. Now Matt also confirmed the expected date of the Greymore PTS to be Monday, April 20th. So again, a little bit later than we expected, but that still gives us over a month of testing the new chapter before it goes live. So I'm really excited for that. Hopefully I'll be able to create a lot of new videos for you guys covering things like vampire changes, werewolf changes, class balance, and new item sets. So make sure you're subscribed to the channel right now with your notifications turned on so you don't miss anything. Of course, don't forget to crush that like button if you enjoyed the discussion today. I have a new website, hacktheminotaur.com, that just went live yesterday. Check that out, let me know what you think. Links for the site and my social media are down below. If you guys have any thoughts about the light or heavy attack changes or the gray more delay, let us know in the comments section. 
And as always, thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have a great day. Stay safe, and I will see you around in the next video.